gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's totally gonna do it. You pulled that in the town. Yeah, yeah, hoping to. Thank you. Okay, how's it going? My name is Matheson, but on the Appalachian Trail, everyone called me Bear. About three and a half weeks ago, I finished a northbound through hike of the Appalachian Trail. And so I'm making this video because before I started that hike, coming from another country, there was a few things that I couldn't find any information on, at least no good information, and hitchhiking was one of them. So we're gonna be talking about hitchhiking. We're gonna be looking at four different, four main things. Firstly, is it legal? Um, do I have to do it? Is it safe? And then we'll touch on just how to generally do it. Okay, so firstly, is it legal? Now that depends on which state you're in. For the majority of the 14 states you'll be hiking through, it is legal, but there are certainly states which it isn't. I couldn't tell a difference between which states were and weren't legal, so I didn't really have too much of a problem. But it depends how law-abiding you are there if you want to decide not to hitchhike through the state of New York. I don't know, up to you. I can't remember what I said for number two, but it was probably one of four things and I already said one, so that narrows it down a lot. Um, uh, do I have to, basically? I mean, do you have to? Uh, okay, so I'll explain how it works. So you hike in the Appalachian Trail and you run out of food. There's gonna be a lot of towns generally three to eight miles away from the where the trail crosses a road. And now you could totally walk that three to eight miles if you'd like, but you're gonna be walking, you know, 2,200 miles. You don't really wanna do an extra 16 return from town so you can either walk the shorter distances if you don't want to hitchhike or you can call a shuttle now a lot of the towns that have um, hostels in them will come pick you up for free if you're staying at their hostel you don't need to but if you choose to call shuttles or stay in hostels at the time it is going to cost you a lot more so i met somebody about a thousand miles in who hadn't hitchhiked yet and she said she hadn't needed to now whether she did the whole thing without hitchhiking, I really don't know. So you can get at least a thousand miles without having to hitchhike. However, as you get further north, it's gonna get harder and harder. So that's that one. What was the third one? Is it safe? I mean, there's obviously an element of risk there, but there's an element of risk when you drive your car or walk across the street. So yes, there's risk involved. Is the risk outweighing the reward? I wouldn't say so. I've had a fair few hitchhiking experiences, a couple of interesting ones let's say only a few have made me feel unsafe i think in general on the appalachian trail it's very safe and the reason is because all of the people driving back and forth past the trailhead however long they've been living in town is how long they've been seeing hitchhikers you know hiking the appalachian trail so they know what you're doing and that's what makes it so safe i can't speak for hitchhiking in other places in america the only couple of interesting ones is there's a couple of states that have a drinking problem i'd say I and mean, so drink drivers but I mean, it's always up to you on whose car you get in. Now, if you can't tell they're drunk before you get in, then hopefully they're still sober enough to drive the car safely. But definitely pay attention to that. It is generally safe, but don't let your guard down. Now you might want to know, is it safer because I'm a guy? I am a guy, hopefully you can tell pretty easily, but hair is getting long. I mean, there's definitely risks for females that, that guys don't have. But with that said, I did talk to a lot of girls that were hitchhiking and never had any worrying moments. With that said, it's always safest to hitchhike in a pair. When I met Legs, me and him hitchhiked together most of the time. I mean, I certainly did my share solo when he needed to charge his phone or something, so I'd just hitch in and out by myself. But if you're a girl and you are a little bit worried about it, totally hitchhike in a pair with another girl or a guy, and you should have no worries. But then you've got the other side of the coin, some of the people that pick you up that are scared of, of us. And so when that happens, just use general hike etiquette, be super polite and stuff like that, but um, they just made us get in the back so we didn't have to actually get in the car with them. Um, which is all good, you know, I'm totally happy to do it. And lastly, I'll talk about how to do it. So I'm not going to go into this super in detail, but pretty much stand somewhere where you're easy to see. If you're standing just around a corner, cars are going to be coming around, they're not going to have time to pull over. So try and be somewhere that's easy to be seen. Secondly, it would be somewhere where people can pull over. So try and be somewhere where there's like a little pull-in or a driveway or an area of road big enough for cars to pull off and get you. And the slower the traffic's moving, the better. So you know, if you're hitchhiking, if you're starting to walk back to the trail, stop on the edge of town before the speed sign so the cars don't speed up too much. It's just a little bit easier. So be seen, be somewhere they can pull over and hopefully the traffic's not moving too fast. So yeah, pretty much uh, I would say hitchhiking on the Appalachian Trail is one of the safest places you can be doing it, especially in America, you know, but it's always safest to go in pairs. So try and double up if you can. And if you do go by yourself, whether you're a guy or a girl, just be super careful. And um, if it feels doesn't feel right and the car looks a bit shifty, just don't get in. But I'll um, I'm good, thanks. I know you can make something up. Yeah, and just be trying to be safe when you're, when you're hitchhiking as far as where you're standing so that cars don't come ripping around the corner, not see you, and then smack you over or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, comment, and I'll answer them. But a lot of this you can probably figure out on your way. But yeah, super safe. Actually, I'm not going to say super safe. But yeah, pretty much that's about it.